Yo, what is going on and how are you? We're going to talk about YouTube videos and how to make them. So if you don't know how to make them, let's do it. Okay, so in this video, you're going to learn how I did this video, literally. So how I did the intro, how I did the screen capture and what video editor I used. Okay, so how do you do screen capture? Um, Screencast O Matic is your friend, and it's been my friend for a long time. It is a screen recorder and video editor solution. It is how I'm doing it literally, literally right now. So if you go on it, it is free. There is a premiere version. You don't got to worry about it. You got to sign in, though. That's my email address. And uh, you could start the recorder, and you have three options. You can do uh, just the screen. You could just record your screen or you could just record the webcam or you could do what you're seeing right now, the screen and then a little screen with uh, the webcam guy saying hi to you. And you could move me around the screen and uh, you could even make me transparent if you have a green screen. So you could do all sorts of cool things. And the video editor is really amazing as well. Uh, right here is uh, what you would see. I can't really do anything because it's recording right now. But if you were to click on one of these, um, you could trim the video, you could expand it, you can um, add narration to it, you could add captions to it, you could do a lot of really neat things. You can zoom, you could blur uh, if you have sensitive information. There's all sorts of cool things. And by the way, it is free. Okay, so you want to do a video intro and you don't want to spend any money and you don't want to learn anything and you just want to just be like all right let's just get this done and you looked at the intro clip from this video and you're like that's pretty cool how did you do that well i'm going to show you right now you're going to go to panzoid.com so let's go to google and panzoid.com boom intro maker video editor clip maker etc this thing is a library of really really cool creations from everyone around the world and you find one that you like and you click it and you open it up in clip maker and this is where you could preview it right here and you can see how it's going to look on your youtube video oh man but you don't want it to say name right so you want to change that so you're going to go to this little icon here where it says the 3D square, and you are going to find the text group that says name, and you're gonna change it to Jake. And you're gonna change it to Jake. And you're gonna change it to Jake. All these that say name, you're gonna change it to Jake. And that way, right here, you'll see Jake and all of them. And then once you're done, you download it and you video render it. And it will output as an MKV file. And most of the video editors out there that are free and less robust than, say, in Adobe Premiere, you're going to want to convert that to an MP4. And so um, you don't, you could just Google this if you, uh, these things t uh, change a lot. So you might want to say MKV to MP4 converter. And... I have found that the video online convert.com doesn't really work very well, but the media IO is where it's at. So you click it and you drag and drop or select the file. You select the MKV, the MKV file and it converts directly to MP4. So now you have an intro with an MP4 file and you have a screen capture video of yourself and you want to combine it. How are you going to do that? You're going to use a video editor. Okay, so you don't want to spend any money on, say, the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, and you don't want to learn Adobe Premiere. So what are you going to do? You're going to get OpenShot Video Editor. And the reason why it's called OpenShot is because it is open source. And it is free, by the way. And all you got to do is just download it for whatever device machine you're using. And uh, it's a quick download. It's only 180 megs. And when you open it, all you got to do is just hit uh, import the files that you want and drag and drop into the right folder. So then you could use this bad boy here. Whoa. 
and you can move it around and hit play. And this is a very versatile, robust video editor tool, even though it is free. Um, you can click on it and you have all these different options. You can fade, you can animate it, you can rotate, layout, time, volume, separate audio, slice, transform, etc., etc., etc. And you can have different transitions and different effects. And you can make as much time and effort into this as you want. I, however, am going to be doing the minimal amount of effort uh, for this video. So yeah, there it is, open shot. And once you combine all of your, um, this clip, the intro clip and all of that, you will just, I'm assuming file, save project as, and then export the video. And once you export the video, you'll have your final YouTube video MP4 file to actually upload to YouTube. All right, very exciting stuff, guys. Woo! All right, so you have the master file that you want to upload to YouTube. So where are you going to go but YouTube.com? And you have your, uh, your icon up here, and you're going to want to go right to YouTube Studio. And uh, if you haven't seen YouTube stu Studio, take a look. Take a look at the dashboard. Take a look at the analytics. Um, you can see all sorts of cool things like uh, reach and um, engagements and who your audience is and, um, you know, watch time. Um, uh, like where, I don't know, I kind of like seeing the top videos, you know, um, real time activity. It's all so cool. And uh, the number one button that you want to look at is right here, create. So let's say uh, you want to upload your video. You upload that video. Um, I'm going to upload a dummy video right here just for the sake of it. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to title it. I'm going to describe it, right? And uh, we're going to do all sorts of cool things with it. Um, and wait a second, what is up with this? There's a, a, a thumbnail, right? And a lot of cool things happens with the uh, with the thumbnail, right? And if you 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 know exactly what I'm talking about with the thumbnail, right? So let's say um, how to uh, make an intro video on YouTube, right? And um, we'll go down uh, to me <laughs> right here. And um, hey, this is Jake. Look at that guy. But anyways, look at the YouTube video. Here's the here's the thumbnail for Creator Fundamentals right here, right? Here's the video, but that is right there. He made a little transparent head. He's got this cool thing, right? Well, how do you do that? Well, let's show you. Um, my recommendation is Canva.com. It's absolutely free, as is everything in this video, and um, you could just type in YouTube thumbnail it has the correct dimensions for it as uh, right um, and you just click on any template that kind of catches your eye and um, I've already uploaded uh, my goofy face here and literally look at this drag and drop right there and you could say um, how to make a YouTube video 2020 Boom, hit download, uh, do it as a PNG, hit download right here. And then when you go back to, um, to YouTube, you can, you can um, hit the file, hit the recording, and it will hit the upload thumbnail. And right here, boom, how to make a YouTube video 2020. Ba -ba 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 boom. <laughs> and that is literally it and just make sure that you do a cool title and a really great description and you put a lot of tags in there and you are just mindful you know how what's my audience uh, what are they going to type into youtube right is it a good title is it a good description 
what are my tags right and make sure that youtube thumbnail is awesome and make sure that you add things to the end of your video as well all right so cheers everyone